Right. Some of the frequently asked questions uh, on the website that I saw that is are applicable to my situation, right? So over here, there was a question that who can apply to CIP? So again, people who are in active duty, including those in full-time support or training and administration reserve or TAR are able to apply for CIP. But not all people who submit their application are going to be able to get selected under the CIP program. Number two question that I saw, can I use the time to complete a bachelor's degree and then come back in as an officer? So it was stated that it's possible to do that so you can apply uh, for a commissioning program while in the CIP program. And if you get selected, of course, you're going to come back in as an officer. But if you don't get selected, then you're going to have to come back as the enlisted side and finish whatever remaining uh, obligated service you have to do. All right, question number three. Can I apply even though I'm currently negotiating for orders? So on the website, it was also emphasized that they encourage you to apply uh, for orders even though you applied for CIP. The only reason, uh, the only time that you're not supposed to be, uh, you might not get qualified for CIP is when you already have uh, PCOs, PCS orders. So that's why uh, you have to communicate with your detailer so that it would not conflict to whatever uh, goals you have in mind. For me, uh, I already submitted my CIP application this month because this month is my 12 month mark uh, before my EOS. I already forwarded to uh, my CIP program manager and he's going to forward it to my detailer and so on and so forth. So when I did my package right, so it's basically a package. So there's going to be a checklist that you have to include in your package. So some of the forms that are included in the checklist would be your personal statement. So why do you want to be uh, applying? Why do you want to apply for a CIP program? So basically you address all the personal stuff or things that uh, you want to do that basically you like why do you want need a break right so why do you want to have a break from active duty so uh, this is the things that are not able you're not able to accomplish if you stay active duty so for me i stated that i want to get i want to go to nursing school and finish my bsn so if if i stay active duty then i'm not going to be able to be able to do the clinicals and I'm not gonna be able to finish a degree, right? So I really wanna get my BSN, that's why uh, CIP is one of my options. Also, the main thing is also the, the CO endorsement. So C, your commanding officer should be able to write you a recommendation letter saying that uh, you're an asset to the command and to the Navy, but you're also gonna be able to benefit under the CIP program. All right, so for you guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll, I'll also add the link at the bottom of this video to go uh, check out the CIP program information. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.